thinking we better freaking catch them because everybody else did. It's kind of absurd. 61 bags over 20 pounds. I fished the St. Lawrence River three years in a row now. It ain't that easy. Now, when you get a bite here, a good chunk of them are three and a half pounders. But 20 still takes a little bit of doing. And then I think top 10 was 24, 25, something like that. Like it's just crazy. Did catch me a 612 yesterday. Had some big bites yesterday. You know, had a I had a four and a quarter that I weighed, and then a or a four and a half, and then a 612, and then some solid ones, but I had a couple more big bites. I just didn't see a lot of fish, and I went through one of my best areas, caught three or four that I weighed in, and then turned around and went back through it a little bit. Didn't see a bunch of fish, seen some more, but didn't see a ton. So I went and expanded, try to find some new, because I know that, you know, some of these guys are super good at fish for smallmouth, but I really felt like if I was going to be in contention to win the tournament, I was going to have to expand, find some, some new water or run through some water where I had some waypoints where I seen some bigger ones in practice and then go and see if there's a lot of fish in those areas. And I ran around a good chunk of, you know, the last four hours of the day and just fished some new water, some old water that I know is good and had some bites. I just didn't ever cull. I caught some three and a quarters and, you know, like I had one that almost culled but didn't. So I caught some more good ones running around, but I just didn't ever get another one of those big bites. So today, we just got to set the hook as many times as we possibly can. I'm, you know, using forward face to sonar, trolling around until you see a fish and then throwing at it. And about 20, 25% of them seem to bite. So that's, that's, you know, the goal for today is catch them, catch some big ones. Just keep setting the hook. You know, you can't go out there and say, I'm going to go catch 27 pounds because all you can do is really in what bites. You know, you can't catch them if they don't bite. Hopefully, they bite and they're big ones. I got a couple of areas that are not getting near as much pressure. And you can tell it when you get there. On a, on a lake or river system like this where it's a destination place, like a lot of people fish here. When you get around fish that don't get fished for a lot, you can tell because they bite a lot more often. So that's kind of what I'm going to do today is kind of stay in that area where I feel like it's getting a little bit less pressure and the fish were cooperating a little bit more. And we're going to see if we can't bang around and beat around in there and catch a good bag today. But need to catch 20 to get paid or need to catch at least 18 to get paid. 20. Sounds crazy, don't Yeah, it sounds crazy. Considering but, you had like 22 yesterday? Yeah, tw 22 won yesterday with a 612 big one. And you need 20 to get paid, that's crazy. I need at least 18 to get paid. Maybe 19, but I'd like to go ahead and just catch 20 and I feel like if I catch 20, I'd be like, yeah, I'm getting paid. So, uh, and it's not really that much about getting paid. It's, I wanna fish day three, I wanna make cuts, just wanna do, I just wanna have a good tournament. So, if we're gonna get back in contention, cause the weights are pretty stacked. I had 22. And 20, I don't know what's leading, 27 and a half or tw almost 28 pounds, something like that's leading. There's a couple of bags that are 26, 27, and there's a bunch, few 25s and some 24s. So, I mean, it's, I had 22. And so it's pretty like stacked. Yeah, I mean, like almost 30th place with 22, but it's stacked. So if I can somehow catch 24 today, 25 today, I'm going to move up a ton. And then that consistency is just going to be. You know exactly what you need in this type of tournament whenever the weights are this stat consistency is everything catch them multiple days in a row this is a marathon not a sprint so we got to go out there and just keep setting the hook keep getting bites keep running around keep being efficient and you know hopefully come in with a good bag you know this is this place is just phenomenal it's a fun place to fish it really is you know it's i like it because not only is it a destination lake that actually lives up to the hype it's big enough where you can find something to yourself which you can't do very often in these elite events we go to lakes like we was on pickwick phenomenal lake kind of a destination lake not as much as this but it's like you couldn't find anything to yourself there i mean if you did you'd find one or two spots to yourself and at least for me i like to hit a bunch of spots in a day so i'm running around a ton and i got one or two that nobody else is hitting so we'll see i mean this year's been 
a year where it's been tough on me. Hopefully we turn the corner right now and just start catching them. Your five best yesterday, what was your average depth? 20, around 20. Caught, well, I didn't weigh in any shallow ones. I caught three three pounders shallow, didn't weigh any of them. Other than that, they were all eight, 17 to 22 probably. Are you still going to try to go shallow first to catch a limit? I'm not going shallow You're first. I'm going shallow later. I don't know. I had one area where <clears throat> in practice there was a handful of them. A couple of nice ones. But I thought I had this one little rock point where there were so many fish on it in practice. I thought I could just pull up right there and catch a three and a half or maybe two or three, three and a half in 15 or 20 minutes. So I went there, hit a spot spent 25 30 minutes and never had a bite then ran to another one never had a bite so then i ran out to the lake and today we're just going to run straight out to the lake and throw it dots all day
sir. Yeah, we're there. Good. Good luck. Good. It was good. One, two, three. Okay. Give me your best guess. 24-3. I guess it's 24-3. I hope you're right. <laughs> Our next angler had a second place finish at the Bassmaster Classic from Alabama. Get loud for Stone Cold Kyle Welcher. 22 pounds in an ounce to start the day. Bob this year today. Looks like another good day. 23 pounds, 10 ounces, with 45 pounds, 11 ounces. Kyle Welcher, who's in the seventh place currently. 45, 11, sitting in seventh place and uh, having a great tournament. Yeah, d definitely. You know, I've shot myself in the foot here twice now. Every year we've been here, I've had one good day, one bad day. Coming into this one, I geared up for the way I want to fish, and I said I'm going to commit to it all three days of practice, and every day I get to go to the tournament, I'm going to fish, I'm going to fish one way and not second guess it, and that's what I did, and it's, it's working out so far. We still got to go catch them tomorrow and hopefully try to get inside that top ten, but I'm just glad I finally put two days together on a dang small mouth leg. Awesome, and I hope you get here all the way through to Sunday. Yep, so St. Lawrence River this week, we got 45 pounds for two days, which is the best that I've ever done here. Today it's just been, I mean, your forward face of sonar on overdrive. That's all I'm doing. Every single fish that I'm catching, I'm scanning for them. If I can see them, the further you can see them, the better. That's when that C clear power harness comes in. You know, I'm trying to set my units at 90, 100, 120 feet sometimes and try to make 70, 80 feet cast to these fish. And I feel like my percentage goes up of how often they bite whenever you're casting at 70 or 80 feet. So being able to see from a long distance. It's a big key this week. Thank you, man. No problem. Thank you. Thank you.